turning point. We can no longer go forward into the future and allow ourselves to be silenced, to be intimidated, and to have our political power ripped from us. So we say it's time to reject the lesser evil and to fight for the greater good. And we will go forward knowing that we do have the power to create an America and a world that works for all of us. And the power to create that world is not just in our hopes, it's not just in our dreams, right here and now, outside the barred gates of Hofstra University, that power is in our hands. Let her in! Let her in! Let her in! Let her in! Jill, Jill, it's democracy now. We just want to get us this. What happened today? What happened today? This is democracy now. What happened today? So today we had, we were invited to speak to the media, um, and we had had several interviews. We were at Fox, uh, we were at CBS, and we were on our way to an MSNBC interview because the students Joe, were so excited Joe, about our presence. Uh, Joe, they attracted the, the sec attention of security, Joe, and we you. were right. escorted thank off you. of the campus. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to go inside, and I'm going to ask if they will open the debates. All right? Yeah. We have a right. We have a right. To participate. To participate. In nonviolent civil disobedience. Currently, right now, you're blocking traffic, allowing people to come in and okay. out of the parking lot. We are asking you to please we are move have to the sidewalk. Our seats, and we're going to wait for them to bring us somebody from the Commission on Presidential Debates. Have a seat. My name is Carlos Jesus Calzadilla, and right now we're demanding Jill Stein to get into the debates because this is supposed to be a democracy and we're so supposed to have dialogue amongst many people, not just two. And the Commission on Debates is controlled by the Republicans and the Democrats. We are demanding right now in America, where supposedly we have freedom of speech, to open the debates and let Jill Stein and Gary Johnson participate in them. Ladies and gentlemen, you are obstructing vehicular traffic. If you refuse to move, you are subject to arrest. Bennett Weiss, we're, we're blocking the road because we want an open debate. They want an open road, which will affect a few handful of vehicles. We want an open debate, debate that will affect the entire world. We either move or we get arrested. I'm prepared to get arrested. Can you turn around, please? Can you narrate what's happening? I'm going to jail for yeah, trying exactly to make sure that I'm having handcuffs put on right now and going to jail because I believe everybody right. should be a Just part of the presidential debate. That's Sherry Honkala, the Green Party's 2012 vice presidential candidate, one of about two dozen people who were arrested Monday outside the debate at Hofstra University. Special thanks to Dina Guzder and Honey Massoud for that report. Well, while the Green Party's Jill Stein was escorted off the campus at Hofstra, what would it sound like if she actually participated in the debate?